what are fan leaks and why should you remove them? So this is something that I actually just learned not too long ago because my pepper plant, let me bring you guys a little bit closer. If you see these leaves, it's a little hard to tell on camera, but they were starting to get kind of yellow and some of them even had some brown patches on them. So basically I was trying to figure out what the heck is going on, why are they doing this? Uh, this one here is really bad, it's like kind of like wilted and I don't know, almost looks dead on half of it. So I was trying to figure out basically what was going on, right? And I posted on a couple forums and the best answer I got was that they were fan leaves. So basically a fan leaf is a leaf that has gotten old and as the leaves get older they uh, start to suck up more nutrients but they produce a lot less energy. So basically a fan leaf is a leaf where it's sucking up a ton of nutrients but it's really not giving the plant any benefits and it's actually kind of hindering the plant. So a lot of this new growth up top here is actually not growing quite as fast or quite, not quite as good as it could. So the best thing to do with these fan leaves is honestly just to remove them. So you don't want to remove all of your leaves, but I'll move us a little bit closer here. And you mostly just want to remove the very leaves on the bottom, any that are looking pretty sad at least. If it still looks like a nice healthy leaf, then you're all right. Now, the way to tell if you have fan leaves or if you have some other problem is if your small leaves up top, all of your new growth, if that still looks good, then it's probably a fan leaf and you can get rid of it. But if your new growth up top also looks sickly, then you probably have some other problem on your hands. So, there we go. And the rest of these all look fairly decent. Um, I might, I'll keep that one for now. All right, so there's our plant now that we've removed all of those fan leaves. Hopefully it is a little bit healthier. Um, again, there's all those leaves that we removed. So I'm actually gonna remove one more right here. I really like these shears that I got. I got them for, I think like five bucks at Walmart. Uh, they work really well. Uh, they're really good for making really nice, precise cuts. Now, one other thing I'm going to do just while we're here is I'm going to top the plant. Um, it grew a little bit taller than I wanted to, and I kind of want more growth a little bit down low, especially because I'm going to eventually turn this guy into a bone sheet. So we're just going to take it, and I'm trying to think, where should I cut it? Um, I think we're just going to kind of cut it right, I don't know. We'll cut it right here, right, right below this node. Boom, there goes all of that. So, it's a little bit sad to see all that come off, but it'll benefit the plant in the end. So there's our new plant right there. Um, these little tiny shoots should start growing into more branches. Same with like all these on these little tiny nodes. A lot of those will start growing into new branches. Now the important thing to do uh, when topping plants or removing the, um, what is it called, the fan leaves, is to make sure not to remove everything. You want to leave some stuff because leaves are how the plant produces energy. So there we go. That is just about all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be putting out more pepper videos in the next couple days. Um, that about sums it up. Thank you guys. Bye.